Hello and welcome. My name is Prabhu and in this video I am going to teach you how to recover your lost PEM key file which you used to log into your Amazon Web Services EC2 instance. So the usual ways suggest that you need to stop and start your EC2 instance in the process of recovering your PEM key file. But in this video I am going to teach you a method where you don't need to restart your instance so there's literally no downtime with this method but you will still be able to recover your key file and will be able to access your instance as normal so let's get started so there's usually more than one method to recover your lost PIM key file and uh, all of the methods usually like usually mention that you will need to stop and start your EC2 instance in the process of recovering the key file say for example in one method you will need to detach the EBS volume of your EC2 instance and then uh, uh, create the SSH key within it and then reattach it to the instance. So that's one way that will obviously need a restart of the instance and there's another way where you use AWS Systems Manager to run an automation. In that case also AWS Systems Manager will restart your EC2 instance before attempting to recover your PEM key. So in this method uh, we are going to do that without restarting the EC2 instance. So our first step is to bring up the EC2 instance. So I have a sample instance running here. So let me show you what's running in there. I have a sample Angular application running within it. So it's running on port 9090. So this is the application. I currently use this key to log into that instance. So let me show you my login through git bash we use ssh hyphen i and the key file along with the username which is ubuntu since this is an ubuntu instance at the rate of the ip address so as you could see I'm into the machine now. Now let's quit out of the machine and let's deliberately delete this key file. I'm going to permanently delete it so I no longer have it and I have lost access to my instance. But there is one tool which AWS provides out of the box which you can use to connect from the AWS console itself. So before doing that, let's check, check the security groups of this. And as you can see, port 22 is allowed only from my IP. But I'm going to change this because I'm going to hit access this from within the AWS console. So let's open the security group. So let's edit the inbound rules and our SSH rule. So it's currently accessible from my IP. So let's change it to anywhere so that we are able to access it from the console itself. All right, so that's changed. Let me refresh this. And the inbound rule states port 22 from anywhere, right? So let's now hit the connect button and we'll use the EC2 instance connect feature just provided out of the box by AWS. Let's hit the connect button. So this will open a new tab and it will automatically open up a terminal within AWS console. So we are connected to the machine without the need to supply the PEM file. So let me clear this for you. And now how are we going to generate our new PEM key file? So first of all, let's create a new key pair using the command ssh hyphen keygen hyphen t and rsa. So I'll give uh, the default path. I'll overwrite it. Yes. 
give an empty pass phrase and it has been generated so the default path of it is the home directory and the folder dot ssh and the files so let's get into the folder dot ssh and list down the files in there so we have two files newly generated idrsa and idrsa.pub so idrsa is the private key and idrsa.pub is the public key right so let's cat the file so you can see the contents of it so idrsa contains this the private key and idrsa.pub will contain the public key so this is the newly generated key pair so how are we going to attach this public key into the, into this machine machine so we could use the private key from our machine to connect to the instance let's see how that could be done so before proceeding into copying the key we'll first convert the private key into a specific format so that can be achieved using the command ssh keygen hyphen p hyphen m pem in caps hyphen f and the id rsa file let's hit enter no passphrase let's list down the files again and we'll cat the id rsa file so this time you could note a difference so this key begins with a different name begin rsa private key and end rsa private key whereas the same key before started with begin open ssh private key and end open ssh private key so we have converted into this format and this can be used to log in so now we need to copy our public key into the machine itself the machine's ssh configuration so i'll clear the screen for more clarity and let's copy the id rsa.pub which is the public key into the authorized keys file so this is where the public key will be held um, before copying let me show the contents of the authorized key file keys file so this is the old public key and we are going to override this with the new one so let's copy the idrsa.pub into authorized keys so the new authorized keys file will contain the new key let's move on to the next step let's open the idrsa file which is the private key so we need to uh, put this into our local machine in order to in order to log in to the ec2 instance so let's copy this and i'll open a text editor vs code in this instance so let's create a new file and paste the contents of the private key here so there's one important thing to note uh, you need to change the end of line sequence at the bottom right from crlf to lf because our machine is a unix machine and it needs to understand it in the uh, unix slash linux format so we need to select lf right so that changes the end of the line sequence of this file and let's save this so let's click all files and we'll save it as docker hyphen key dot pem so pem is the format right now visual studio code identifies this as a private key file so you can see the uh, green lock symbol over here and now let's try to log into the machine using this key so before that i'll also secure the machine it's a security group so it's accessible from anywhere right so let's lock it down to the current ip my machine's ip right so till now we haven't restarted the machine it's still running yeah as you can see here 
and the application the angular application is also running as you can see here right now let's attempt to log in into the machine using the newly generated pem file so let's close this and let's reopen git bash in the place where we generated the pem file where we created it and ssh i docker key dot pem ubuntu at the rate of the ip cool as you could see here we are able to log into the machine without even attempting a restart thank you so much for watching this video please hit the subscribe button if you like my way of teaching and share this to your friends to spread more knowledge. Thanks a lot.